Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. It's Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Now I know there's been bad reviews all over the place and dedicated Star Wars fans such as myself felt some type of way about this movie. But you know, I'm gonna give a no spoiler review along with the D-Box technology seating. We're gonna combine that, we're gonna talk about it. Everybody just breathe, all right? <laughs> That's all coming up next. It's funny. <laughs> Quick shout out to all of my returning subscribers. I'm glad that you're back. And for those of you who are visiting, feel free to look at any other reviews that I have on the channel. I'm happy that you're here. And I don't know if you noticed, but I subscribe to whomever subscribes to me. Now this D-Box box technology seating, if you aren't familiar with this technology, I'll place the link below so you can become familiar with what is it, how does it correlate with the movie. But a quick cliff notes of what that technology is, you get an interactive experience. When there's a punch, your seat jolts. When something flies, your seat kind of lifts in the air and you feel the dips in the move. So something like Star Wars, D-Box technology is really something that you want to invest in. I think the surplus to that is maybe an additional seven to eight dollars. To me, it is worth every penny, but make sure to click the link in the comments so you can get more information about this technology. Now, moving on to Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker. Now this video won't be won't be long, but let me give you an idea of what's been said about this movie. So the movie is a little under, a little, I think it's two hours and 34 minutes. So we do have a nice stint of time in trying to bring this movie to a close. So the pros of this movie, of course, the, the CGI and everything involved with the visuals of this movie was absolutely nothing less but exceptional, okay? Um, the cons of this movie are, the best way I can explain it, for those of you who are Game of Thrones fans, okay? Just think of how you felt going from season one all the way to season seven, okay? You have grown and you have become emotionally attached to the characters, the evolution of where everything is coming to a close or learning more about the storylines. And season eight, even though the CGI was amazing, the direction was amazing, the war scenes was amazing, you felt as if the writers and the production rushed the evolution of how to close everything because you've invested so much into the series, okay? And many people who watched Game of Thrones felt that season eight was such a downer because there were so many other things that could have been brought into those last episodes that could have emotionally tied everything together. Excuse me, my battery is low. Um, and many people, some people were happy with its ending and some people were not. Whether you were happy with the ending or not, you still felt some type of, is that it? And accepting it because, well, it's coming to a close and there's nothing you can do about it. That is the same emotional connection of how a lot of people are feeling about this last movie for Star Wars. You are connected with it. You have grown with these characters. You've seen how it's evolved, not only from Mr. Lucas, but Disney having some sort of part in it. You feel this rush of, you know what, let's cram all this together, let's go ahead and give it an ending without thoroughly sitting down with crafted writers and bringing it to a close. So the disappointment is the emotional connection of writing. Two, you feel that it was rushed in a sort of way. It makes sense, but eh? <laughs> So it feels very Marvel-ish. It felt very um, pulling us out of the Star Wars 
franchise emotion, meaning please take your time. Please know that we're fans, so we're going to see uh, and be patient with whatever you decide to do with these characters. So what are you saying, Bunny? What I'm saying is that what, have, what would have been smart is to give the fans more understanding and to take your time and not to just rush something. Um, there were a lot of comedic lines that were cheesy, that were unnecessary. And also we have reality of Mrs. Fisher's death and a lot of things that they couldn't do with the movie, unfortunately, because there's only so much that CGI can do when that individual is not there, correct? So there's a lot of things that you have to switch around and, and, and shift. I just feel like some really heavy hitters and Mr. Lucas, uh, of course, his role is different. So when Disney has a hand in it, now you have Hollywood that wants to pull in those dollars, which they did. They know that they have that dedicated fan base to go see. It was more heartbreaking more than anything to say, wow, here it is. This is the last movie. I know they won't disappoint. So I think emotionally and script wise, the Star Wars fan base is very disappointed. Speaking from a movie perspective, was it entertaining? Yes. But the fluidity of the movie, the writing, the development, and its conclusion was like, okay. You don't feel this, yes, when you leave the movie theater. You don't feel this, wow, we've watched all of these movies and we've come to this conclusion, okay. Whether you like the ending or not, the ending didn't feel Star Wars worthy. Do I recommend you go see it? Of course. If you are a Star Wars fan, you're going to go see it regardless, right? I do recommend that you do go see this movie. It was entertaining, but I felt the same emotion as Game of Thrones. That is the only way, that is the only analogy that I can really give you to where you can understand where a lot of fans are coming from emotionally. Was Game of Thrones season eight still entertaining? Heck yeah. Was, were the war scenes amazing? Heck yeah. But there was a lot of things thrown out, taken out, pushed, rushed. D&D um, &D for Game of Thrones, they had an opportunity from HBO to do 12 episodes, which I felt that was needed to give more time and development to all of the characters. That's why season eight felt rushed. That's why a lot of us were like, okay, because it was just rushed. It comes to this. When it starts coming to the dollars and more making history and ending it well, they dropped the ball, unfortunately, with a lot of things. And it's the same thing with Star Wars. Um, still a good movie, but as someone who grew up with it, who watched it, it was kind of a, um, you know, a Debbie Downer. And it wasn't really the ending that we not only expected, but that we just desired and that we wanted. Still go see the movie. Let me know what you think. Um, I still don't want to give a spoiler review because I know some people, um, I just don't like to give spoilers when it comes to stuff like this, you know, it's just like, mm. but go see it. Um, if you want to go more into spoiler information, feel free to DM me on my Instagram, same profile name, official bun underscore E. Let me know what you think. Please try to not give any spoilers in the comments. We want to be fair to those who have not seen it yet. Um, but let me know what you think, write your comments, vent, do whatever you want to do. Um, as a Star Wars fan, I felt like, oh, okay. You know, I felt very frustrated, but it still was very entertaining. Um, but yeah, realistically, there's a lot of things that you can't do when people pass away, but I felt like they could have chopped this movie into two more parts. They could have really taken their time and just pump the brakes a little bit to develop the story and give us the ending that we deserved. Let me know what you th think, subscribe. And I don't know if you noticed, but I subscribe to whomever subscribes to me and, me and remember to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any post, okay? And look out for the next video that I'm gonna post about New Year's resolutions, what to expect from, from 2020 from this channel. 
and what to do. I'm so excited, you guys. This channel is officially four months old and I've been able to post so many reviews and, and, and things on this page and I'm proud of myself and we're gonna keep this channel going, okay? Let me know what you think. May the force continue to be with you.